Hi everyone, my name is Catherine Muraga, MD at uh, Microsoft Africa Development Center and welcome to this month's edition of Seminar ADC where we continue this conversation on artificial intelligence and today I'm excited to have this conversation with Lydia Karanja and she leads the garage here at ADC. Lydia, a very warm welcome and first of all tell us what is the garage and why does it exist? Thank you, Kathy. The Garage is the program that promotes a culture of innovation at Microsoft. We curate different activities and experiences for Microsoft employees, customers, academia, NGOs to come together and move their innovative ideas forward. Mm, fantastic. Lydia, there's a lot of talk about artificial intelligence and it can seem daunting or utopian. Where do you start in your view? The best place to start, as with any new technology, is learning. In this tech field, you, n you never know everything. Mm. This is a time to start learning and looking at your job and seeing what are some of the repetitive tasks that AI can come and help because AI is here to boost productivity. And something else we have seen in the garage, like with this project we have, we have curated called Agri Advisor. Mm where the team came together and created an advisor for farmers. You'll find that sometimes these AI tools will go to people who have never used them before. In that case, a farmer somewhere in rural Kenya will get an app, a, a text where he can prompt the agri-advisor and get agronomic advice. So in some instances, AI will be available and what, where people can start is just embracing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How I see it, and that's a good point, how I see it is also to use platforms that are readily available on the internet. For example, Microsoft has published a lot of content on uh, Microsoft Learn. And the thing I like about it is it even asks you who's willing to learn, are you a novice? Are you intermediate? Mm -hmm. Or are you an expert? Yeah. So that's always a good place to start. Yeah. And for me, as I reflect, it feels like we are back to the internet era. Yeah. This yeah. is another revolution. Yes. And even at that stage, there was a lot of talk. What is this internet thing? How is it likely to affect us? What, yeah. what new jobs are in the horizon? Mm -hmm. So for me, I see a lot of similarities. Yeah, there is. Yes. Lydia, the next one is, I know you've touched a bit in terms of how the garage is applying AI. Mm -hmm. What other examples do you have in terms of how you're partnering with enterprises? I know you touched a bit on students or even startups. Maybe you can just give us a flavor. Yes, the garage is providing a platform for practical AI use cases and providing learning platforms. And I'll give you a very good example. At the ADC, we had this program where people were learning AI skills. Mm. It was called the, my, the AI Academy. And the garage came in by providing a platform for people who are learning to now apply what they have learned in a practical way. Like we partnered with Kenya Red Cross and came up with a disaster management project using AI. And also during the hackathon, mm. we invite enterprises and we invite NGOs. And I have seen, remember this year's hackathon, 80% of the projects had an AI aspect in them, and even some projects were replicated that had been created without AI, but now replicated with an AI aspect. And also bringing in experts. The ADC is rich with, we have Microsoft Research Africa here, we have data scientists, software engineers, we have MSAI as a team. So we get experts from all these teams to come in and advise the hacking teams on how to leverage AI in their project. Mm. And thanks for that. The thing I find is, and it ties back to the Microsoft culture, is uh, the culture or the trait to experiment. Yeah. Because it's new technology, you're learning, you're testing, not everything will work on the onset. Of course. But even just that attitude of uh, to keep pursuing and keep pushing. Yeah. I think some, some projects that really stuck with me is the one you've talked about, the Kenya Red Cross. Mm -hmm. And even looking at right now, some of the use cases that have been used by our colleagues in AI for good, yeah. partnering with um, Kenya government, Kenya Red Cross, just to give images and also planet, mm -hmm. give satellite images to show 
this is how particular areas looked like before the floods hit. Yeah. And this is how it looks like after the floods, which is vital information for people on the ground who are really helping with uh, rescue efforts. And I know I've, we've sort of like touched on this in terms of, but it would be good to hear from you. Besides experimentation, yeah. what else have you learned as Lydia or have you seen from teens coming to Tinka and uh, experiment with AI in terms of lessons learned based on your own reflections? So one of the biggest lessons is be willing to experiment, fail, learn from the failure and move forward. And that is the growth mindset culture that, that Microsoft promotes. And the other thing we have learned, we have, we have failed where we did not bring experts early on mm. in a project. So bringing an expert at the very beginning will end up saving a lot of time. And I like what you talked about experimentation and failure, which is not easy, especially this part of the world, where especially no. if you've gone through the, our education system and it's all about the A's, yeah. are you top top. Are you top in class <laughs> exactly <laughs> or top five so it's um it's a shift in mindset yes speaking of learning one of the biggest concerns that has uh, been talked about is will ai take up jobs yes and if, before i invite your views on this it takes me back to the same revolution we had during the internet mm -hmm. similar concerns were raised and today we see look at how many roles have come up as a result of the internet Yes. For example, uh, social media influencers, yeah. the creative industry has just grown. What are your thoughts in terms of, yeah, this discussion, will AI take people's jobs? All these repetitive and mundane jobs that people are doing, like data entry, you go into a meeting, you don't even have to take meeting notes today. If you're using Microsoft Teams, Teams can make a summary and create notes for you. Mm. So it frees up time for people to be more productive and more strategic. So I would say, if you don't use AI, it might take your job. But if you embrace AI, it's going to make you more productive. I think a, th a thought or a seed I would plant for anyone viewing and you run an enterprise or you, you control the strategy of an organization is to just start thinking in terms of how much revenue current revenue will be disrupted, courtesy of this AI era. So Lydia, when you reflect on all these things, yeah. any parting shots? Yes, of course I would say that with, with AI coming in, it's not, this notion of the AI might take jobs and or having very negative thoughts on what is AI coming to do. It's not human versus AI, it's humans using AI to be more productive. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So productivity, growth mindset, embrace learning. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Semana EDC, Conversation on Artificial Intelligence Continues. Thank you.